Light that spark fire nation. JLD here with an audio masterclass on how to make multiple six figures as a coach this year. And to drop these value bombs, I brought Raphael Eliasson on the mic because he went from a depressed and anxious janitor to multiple six figures as a coach and speaker. And he has helped build multiple million dollar companies and his speeches have been listened to by over 30 million people. So we'll be diving into why coaches fail, how to find your ideal clients, why you don't need every social media platform to succeed, why certifications don't work, and so much more when we get back from thinking our sponsor. The One Funnel Away Challenge from ClickFunnels supports you from day one through day 30 to help you get your funnel live in just 30 days. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge for just $100 at eofire.com slash funnel. That's eofire.com slash funnel. Shipping and mailing from your desk has never been simpler than with Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. Just click send and save. You're back to business in no time. Visit pb.com slash fire for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash fire. Raphael, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. How's it going, Fire Nation? Thank you, John, for having me on. And actually, English is my third language. I speak fluent Norwegian and Russian first, and English is not my native language. Wow. Well, Kay and I are actually taking a trip this fall to Moscow, so I may need to get some tips from you on uh, places to go. Absolutely. I was actually born in Murmansk, which is you know, quite far away from Mos- Moscow, but yeah, all of Russia is very fun to explore. So I think you'll have a great time. Oh, looking forward to it. I'm doing Moscow and St. Petersburg, and then we're going to head over to Riga, Latvia. So we're going to be kind of doing that area of the world, which would be really cool. But Fire Nation, you tuned in today to hear about how to make multiple six figures as a coach, not next year, but this year. And we're going to be diving through a lot of critical and exciting topics throughout this interview. But first off, I just wanted to say, Raphael, thanks for joining us. As Fire Nation heard through the intro, I mean, it hasn't just been roses and rainbows for you your whole life. You went from being a depressed and anxious janitor to where you are today now on Entrepreneurs on Fire, talking to Fire Nation, sharing your story, your journey. So kind of talk to us about that. Talk to us about why you failed in your first attempt, those first six months, even though you were making daily videos, and then kind of tie in why most coaches fail as well. Absolutely, and it's a pleasure to be on. I used to listen to Entrepreneurs on Fire when I was starting my business. Used to? What? Yeah, I'm still listening, (laughs) I'm still listening, of course, but when I was first getting going, you know, initially, uh, yeah, I was struggling a lot. I was trying to make videos every single day. I did that for a whole year. The first six months, nothing happened. The next six months, I got on track to make set, uh, six figures. And so the the real problem was that I was just putting out content, you know, bashing my head on the wall, hoping that people would watch it. I wasn't focusing on the client or the customer. I was self-absorbed. I wanted people to hear what I had to say instead of actually helping them with what they needed help with. And that kept me stuck for a really really long time. And it also kept my business small and kept me stuck in the job that I didn't like. So I really want to talk about this because I'm really adamant on my side of the spectrum of putting in the reps. And for you, Fire Nation, you may say, well, listen, I you know, will never put out daily videos because I'm just not going to be good at doing daily videos. Well, guess what? Raphael probably wasn't that good at making daily videos at first, but doing it every single day for six months, even though there was no real traction there, there was one benefit, and that was he was getting better at doing the thing. He was getting better at daily videos because he was putting in the reps. Now, could he have gone about it in a better way, as he mentioned? Absolutely. There could have been more intention. There could have been more focus, more micro niche. There could have been a lot of things he did better there, but at least he did something. So Fire Nation, you have to take that step forward. You have to put in the reps, you have to get better at that thing is that you want to do by doing that actual thing. So kind of talk a little bit more about that, Raphael. Like looking back, what advice would you give yourself, you know, if you were starting all over again, you had those six months plus of doing daily videos going forward, what would you tell the Raphael from them? Absolutely. I mean, the number one piece of advice would have been to really focus in on what people's problems are and trying to solve them and help in the best way, because that's really what got me off the ground. You know, just making content for the sake of it, 
it was good. And you know, if people look up my name on YouTube, they can actually find my first video. It's really bad. I had anxiety. I struggled to even get in front of the camera. So I think it was brave enough of me at the time to even begin. But if I wanted faster progress or if I was starting all over again today, I would have basically done the research. I would have sat down and really found out what is my ideal client struggling with? What are people actually asking about? What do they need help with? Instead of just putting out stuff that I thought was good or that I wanted to talk about. That was the big mistake that I made for a very long time. And I could have definitely moved a lot faster and gotten way better results if I would have actually focused as now, you know, my channel has grown over 70,000 subscribers. It's still growing, obviously. And it's because I focus on actually helping people, not trying to look cool. Now let's maybe talk about some more specifics. Like was there a video or just an aha moment or just an idea that really did kind of crack it for you that took you to the next level and you just started doubling down on that? Like was there a moment like that? Was there a video? Yeah, absolutely. I started going into personal development forums and actually reading every post oh, and every that. question and every problem that people had. I would go on other videos related to what I was talking about and finding the real pain points that people had and then speaking on that. And also I realized that people really enjoyed me as a motivational speaker, even more so than sort of a self-help guru because I was young. I didn't really have a track record, but I could always bring some fire, you know, to the Fire Nation as well. Like there was that energy in me because I was young and hungry and a lot of high level entrepreneurs actually responded really well to that. So I really found my audience when I started more so roaring and, and you know, sort of really tapping into my heart and being raw and vulnerable. So that really helped me out a ton. What are those biggest struggles that your ideal clients have, Fire Nation? What are their biggest struggles? You need to create the solutions for them. So I love how Raphael went out and he found the biggest struggles, the biggest obstacles, the biggest challenges that his ideal potential clients and customers and people that were going to listen to his content were having. And then what did he do? He created the solutions for them with his words. What's another thing or maybe a couple things you're seeing other coaches do that's really causing them to either fail or just get traction a lot slower than they could otherwise. They really don't take responsibility for their traffic. You know, a lot of coaches are just very focused on getting clients or they want to put out videos and they hope that somebody's going to kind of catch on. They want people to just find out about them naturally, just discover them, uh, stumble upon them. And that's almost like praying or, or just, just wishing for luck you know it's not really a tangible marketing strategy it doesn't get results and that's what i was doing for a long time and that also kept me very stuck because you have to really be responsible for your traffic you need to bring the eyeballs you know not wait for people to one day maybe discover you you have to make sure that whether it's you know a paid strategy with ads or organically somehow you got to be bringing people in not waiting for them to find you Take responsibility for your traffic, Fire Nation. The spray and pray method is just not effective. People aren't just going to stumble across you in 2019 and beyond. That might have happened back in 2002, 2007. Not today. There's just so much content out there. You have to bring the eyeballs. And I'll give you an example from podcasting. I mean, Podcasters Paradise, one of our biggest questions from that community that we run is, John, how do I get more listeners to my podcast? Well, don't just keep putting out more podcast episodes and just hoping that people find your podcast. Guess what podcast listeners do? They listen to podcasts. That's <laughs> very obvious, Fire Nation, but it's something that so few people actually think about when they're creating a podcast. So my biggest piece of advice is get yourself on 5, 10, 15 other podcasts in your niche every single month. I do 20 to 25. Every single month, I am on between 20 to 25 other podcasts every single month because I know whether big or small, that podcast has people that are listening that listen to podcasts. And if I can convince them that I'm bringing value and, and have an opportunity to bring them back to Entrepreneurs on Fire to listen because the average podcast listener listens to seven podcasts. If I can become one of their seven, I've just added a new listener. So that's just an example from the podcasting side that you need to use Fire Nation for whatever niche and vertical that you are in. So we talked a little bit about getting your ideal clients and understanding the ideal client's struggles and obstacles and challenges. Take us through how we can actually find these ideal clients. What have you done to identify and find these individuals? Absolutely. So really the number one thing for me was I had a passion. 
right? And I was stuck on that. Oh, I wanted to talk about self-improvement or personal development. And I really loved it. And it was you know, this thing that I really burned for. But I wasn't looking at these two other pieces because that's one. But the two other parts that are equally just as important is what does the market actually need? That's the second one. Like, can you find a gap? Is there something that, you know, the market needs that isn't being fulfilled currently by someone else? Or even if it is, they're not doing a great job at it. Uh, For instance, I run a mastermind for coaches that are just starting out. And in there, you know, one guy specifically niched down into breakup coaching. You know, this is an area that hasn't been tapped into so much. People that are struggling in their relationships, he's helping them, you know, as they're coming out, you know, just kind of recover, get into a good place again and get momentum in their life. And there are so many, you know, different areas of life that people struggle with that just aren't being handled or taken care of by anyone or maybe being done poorly. And you can tap into that. And then thirdly, you got to look at what are you good at? So what you're passionate about, what the market really needs, do the research. And then what are you actually good at? For me, I was really great at holding entrepreneurs accountable. So that was my first big niche. You know, that's really where I got a lot of traction. Basically, people that were even self-employed and entrepreneurial, you know, they they had their own business, they were doing their own thing, but they weren't maybe doing all the things they said they would do. So they had some goals, they had some routines that they were going to do, but they weren't. And I would show up every week and track them in a tracking sheet and make sure that they were on point. And that really helped me sort of, you know, get some amazing clients and get them great results. And it also taught me a lot about business being around really high level people. Where is the gap, Fire Nation? What is that void that needs to be filled? And you're not going to know those things until you get dirty in those areas. You need to go in those forums and those Facebook groups like Raphael was doing, see the conversations, find the problems, the obstacles, the challenges that people are having, and see what the gap is that, and I love this point, that you're actually good at as well. Raphael knew that he was going to be able to hold people's feet to the fire, that he was going to be able to hold them accountable through a checklist, through a tracking list, and make sure that they were doing the things they needed to do to succeed. So what's the gap for you, Fire Nation, that you can pair with something that you're actually good at and hopefully enjoy a little bit? Now, Raphael, something that a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with because they get overwhelmed is they feel like they need to be on every social media platform to succeed and they just really struggle with that. So share with us the other ends of the spectrum, which is how a focused effort can work way better. The number one thing that I did was to just focus on YouTube for, you know, the first two, three years even. It's pretty much all I did. I got featured on other people's YouTube channels, just like you were talking about getting on other podcasts. I was just tripling down on that. That was all I focused on, making videos there, getting featured on other people's, you know, channels and then also commenting being a part of the community this generated a lot of traffic and a lot of traction very very quickly if i was doing instagram facebook you know all these different platforms at the same time my focus and my effort isn't as sharp it's not as lasered it's not in one single point and so you know the result also will be all over the place now of course you know as i've built my brand it's natural to expand to other platforms but i already built that authority i spent 5 years doing it and so it's much easier to now take some of those followers from one platform translate that to another one and now you become omnipresent but initially when you're starting out and even for many people a little further along in the journey If they're kind of all over the place and they're not being consistent in one place, there's almost no point trying to do multiple places. Fire Nation, you need to focus. And I think as Raphael knows, because he's listened to a lot of my episodes, focus stands for follow one course until success. If you can do one thing so well, it's going to be so much better and effective for you than doing a lot of things kind of decent. That's why when I started back in 2012, it was, I'm going to do one thing better than anybody else that's out there doing it. And that is doing a daily podcast interviewing entrepreneurs. And guess what? I did Fire Nation do it better than anybody else because nobody else was doing it. I found the thing that nobody was willing to put in the time, effort, energy, bandwidth, work into, and I did it. So I became the best daily podcaster interviewing entrepreneurs overnight. I was also the worst. I was also the only. What is that thing that you can actually niche down and dominate because it is critical? to your success, Fire Nation. And if you think these value bombs are not going to keep coming from Raphael, well, you don't know this man to the level that I do because they're going to keep dropping as soon as we get back from thanking our sponsor. 
When running your own business, every minute counts. That's why I invest time in creating the best systems possible, especially when it comes to -to day-to-day operations. Take shipping, for example. Did you know you can ship packages and mail straight from your desk? It has never been simpler than with SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, which allows you to calculate exact postage online plus print labels straight from your computer. With SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, all you have to do is click send and save, starting at $4.99 a month. You'll also qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping. And for being part of Fire Nation, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started, plus a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you never overpay for shipping again. Visit pb.com slash fire to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash fire. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of Sempro on Online from Pitney Bowes. We're all striving towards different goals. Maybe your goal is to get out of debt or quit your job or take your existing business to the next level. Regardless, you're just one funnel away from accomplishing your goal. And with the One Funnel Away Challenge from ClickFunnels, you can get that one funnel live in just 30 days. Here's how it works. Join the One Funnel Away Challenge at eofire.com slash funnel. Every day you'll receive a mission to complete, each mission being a step in the process of creating, building, and launching your funnel. Get ready to rock your funnel with a trifecta training approach, daily training, live coaching, and accountability from day one through day 30. Complete the task given to you every day for 30 days, and by the end of the 30 days, you should have a funnel that is live and ready to generate leads and sales. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge for just $100 at eofire.com slash funnel and get daily training, live coaching, and accountability from day one through day 30. That's eofire.com slash funnel. So Raphael, we're back and let's talk about something that could be a little controversial right off the bat, which is why certifications don't work. You know, a lot of people are obsessed with certifications, with going back to school, with doing all this and that. Talk about why they don't work in your experience and how they can actually keep you stuck as a coach. It's a trap because you're basically running in cycles trying to think that you need to be better at providing the service by learning theory instead of actually being a practitioner. So you're not helping people. You're learning about maybe helping people. But actual sessions with clients, if you're a coach, are completely different. At this point, I crossed over 10,000 hours of actual coaching with clients. And I know plenty of coaches that are much older than me, much more, quote unquote, experienced, but it's more so theoretical. And so they don't actually know how to get real results for people because they haven't done the work. And it's so frustrating to watch, you know, so many coaches that I've helped as well, they have the best certification. They work with the top level people. And don't get me wrong, I've been self-educated as well and it's helped me immensely. But the main point is to actually go out there and serve and make a difference and actually help clients so that you get real results. That's what I focused on. And I didn't get caught in the trap of trying to get certified because although I am certified, it's not really what's going to make the difference. And people don't necessarily really care about that. They care about whether or not you can help them. That's what the customer, that's what the client wants, not some fancy diploma on your wall. That's not really what's going to make the difference. Fire Nation, I love how Raphael put this. It's a trap. Why is it a trap? Because you're learning about helping people rather than actually helping people. There's only one way you're going to get good. It's actually doing the thing. Going back to what I said at the beginning of this episode, putting in the reps. Real results come from actually putting in the actual work. You know, if I had sat around and just theorized about, oh, like what would it be like to interview people on a podcast. And oh, let me just research and read some articles of people that interview people. And let me look at some equipment articles and let me do this and that. You know, guess what? I would have gained some knowledge, but I got better at podcasting because I got on the microphone and I podcasted poorly for a while and then just okay for a while and then a little bit better. And now I'm 2,200 episodes in. Okay, listen, I've put in some reps, Fire Nation, and you can too. It's just doing the thing. So let's get down to brass tacks, Raphael. How can we build a multiple six-figure coaching business no matter what age or experience we have? The thing that's really going to make all the difference, the thing that will actually you know, get you real results is talking to clients. 
you know, this is by far the most important thing. It's more important than content. It's more important than having the perfect website. You know, spend less time trying to look good on the internet, spend less time positioning and trying to be an authority and spend more time actually in conversations with potential clients. I basically focus my entire efforts on talking to people. When I went from zero to multiple six figures, it wasn't about trying to make the perfect funnel. And of course that can be helpful as well, but the most important thing for me was actually messaging back and forward with people that could use my help and getting to know them, caring about them, asking them questions. And then finally saying, hey look, you know, if you like this or if you'd like some more help, let's hop on a call, let's see how I can help you. From there, build some more value, some more traction, right? Some more, a better relationship, more rapport. And then from there, hey, would you like to work together? It's just a natural transition. It's human to human connection. You know, in 2019 and beyond, it's getting so crazy with all this content and everybody's just putting out videos and and, and putting out all this content. And it's great, it's amazing, I love the content, but we lack that human touch. And when you actually take the time to talk to your people one-on-one and you get on the phone, it makes such a difference because you actually care about them, you're there for them. And that's what I've kept doing, I even do now, whether it's me or someone on my team, to talk to my people and actually see if we can help them, not just putting out stuff and expecting people to come and buy and work with us. It's really all about providing value upfront, but in the even a more amazing way that most people do really going out of your way to talk to them. Human to human connection, Fire Nation. I mean, what better way can you put it? I mean, that's what innately at our core we crave as humans. We want to be heard. We want to be seen. We want to be relevant. We want to be progressing. We want to be getting better. We want to be serving others. We want to be serving ourselves. We want to be serving those that we love, that human to human connection. And let's just kind of break it down numbers wise, Fire Nation. I mean, you honestly feel like if you develop incredible skills, knowledge, and you're willing to help people at a real core level, that you can't find nine people to pay you $1,000 a month to really help them exceed in that one area that you're actually good at. That's nine people paying you $1,000 a month. That's $100,000 plus a year. That is a six-figure coaching business. And Fire Nation, it's attainable. It is truly, truly attainable. And it's fulfilling. And Raphael, talk about that. Why have you found coaching to be such a fulfilling career? And why do you now today love helping coaches succeed with their career? Because it really is all about helping people, right? It's the most satisfying thing in the world you genuinely integrate into their life, find out their deepest fears, their deepest problems, and then you serve them. Nothing complicated, nothing fancy, just being there for another person and helping them through what they're going through that you can add value. And you know, it really comes down to caring about someone. And that is extremely fulfilling. And for me now, you know, helping other coaches, building their businesses has been so satisfying because for five years, you know, I succeeded. And in the beginning, I struggled and I wish somebody would have been there to basically guide me and support me as I was growing and scaling my own coaching business. So being there for other people, now coaching coaches, something I never thought I'd be doing, it feels really incredible because, you know, now it's not just me going out there and helping clients. Now I'm helping someone else that is then going and helping clients. And that is absolutely amazing. And your ideal client changes over time. You know, this ideal client doesn't stay forever. It's not this person that you can best serve for the rest of your life. As you evolve, as you improve, as you learn new skills, you can help other people in an even more profound, better way. And that for me, you know, just seeing other coaches succeed, it's so fulfilling because I'm watching the impact that they're having. You know, I'm watching them really, really serve from their hearts. And that warms mine more than anything else. It really does. Fire Nation, I hope you remember who you're listening to right now. This is Raphael. He went from a depressed and anxious janitor to multiple six figures as a coach and speaker. So wherever you are in the world right now, Fire Nation, this is possible. You just have to put in the reps. You have to learn from those who have come before you. You have to believe. You have to have confidence because you can make this happen. So Raphael, wrap this up for us. What do you want to make sure Fire Nation gets from this entire interview? And give us a final call to action where we can find out more about you and then we'll say goodbye. Sure. Really, I want you to remember that the more you serve, the more you earn, right? The more you go out there and actually help, the more you support other people, the more value you have to the marketplace, the more you get paid. 
It's not about trying to trick someone into your product or funnel or trying to you know, convince people that they should buy from you. It's about going out there and really, really helping. And when you genuinely contribute and you genuinely make a difference in other people's lives, you will always get compensated. You will always get paid more than you need. You know, It's always been a blessing to me because when I serve people, I get rewarded and that wires your brain in a really healthy way that the more you serve, the more you help people, the more you'll earn. And that has been the biggest game changer for me. And yeah, if people want to you know, grow their coaching business, if they want to start building more momentum, I invite them to actually come over to my website, rafaeleliason.com, and they can hop on a free call with my team and basically learn how to scale, how to build, how to start, how to get moving in the coaching industry in a very simple, service-oriented way. Fire Nation, the more you serve, the more you earn. If there's anything you take away from this, take away those words. And you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with, and you've been hanging out with R.E. and J.L.D. today, so keep up the heat and head over to eofire.com, type Raphael in the search bar, and his show notes page will pop up with everything that we've been talking about today, best show notes in the biz, or also head directly to his website that he just shared a couple minutes ago, because that will have everything that you need right there to take the next steps with Raphael. And buddy, thank you for sharing your truth with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we will catch you on the flip side. Hey, Fire Nation. Today's value bomb content was brought to you by Raphael. And my three greater strengths, well, they're productivity, discipline, and focus. And if you're ready to rock these three skills in just 100 days, visit themasteryjournal.com and use promo code podcast and you'll get a nice little discount for listening to my podcast. I'll catch you there, Fire Nation, or I'll catch you on the flip side. The One Funnel Away Challenge from ClickFunnels supports you from day one through day 30 to help you get your funnel live in just 30 days. Join the next One Funnel Away Challenge for just $100 at eofire.com slash funnel. That's eofire.com slash funnel.